My name is Jung Hyun Lee. I'm 34 years old. I currently hold a fifth degree in Taekwondo and I teach at Korea America Taekwondo. The reason why I got into Taekwondo was because my father wanted to help keep some of the heritage of my Korean culture. We all have black belts. Some of us are masters, some of us are not. Minus a small injury that I had uh, at 16, uh, I've been continually training since four years of age. I've competed everywhere around the world. Every weekend to me was pretty much competition weekend. The rides were always boring because, you know, as a child you're very antsy, but then the second you get to wherever you're going, you know, it just opens up and, and you start you start getting that bug inside of you, the, the nervous tick of excitement. It doesn't matter what type of child it is, what type of adult, teenager, you know, when they come walking through these doors, you know, they're here looking for something. It's children especially, you know, because it's a completely new environment. They're an empty, they're an empty cup. And as long as you put that positivity in them, then they can have and develop that I can do feeling. A lot of the kids that come in here, you know, they have low self-esteem issues or, or low self-confidence and the parents, they want the best for their children and they bring them in here and the children develop that. They develop a, a feeling of, I can do it, I will do it, I'll do my best, I'll have a black belt mentality and it's, it's a very rewarding thing for them. When we tell our students to black belt up, you know, it means that we want them to become focused, serious, respectful, and you know, all of our values are instilled in just five tenets. You know, respect, humility, perseverance, self-control, and honesty. And over the course of their training, they realize what those words really mean. If we can stay true to ourselves and follow those rules, then it comes in it and it follows outside, you know. Some students I'll see that they'll accidentally bow to other people. You know, it's very, very funny, but yet very, uh, very proud that I'm helping. Originally, they come in here wanting to do these awesome kicks and awesome techniques, and then, you know, all along that, they get the bonus of knowing, you know, how to respect others. The biggest challenge, I think, to date would have to be the transition of when I went from a student to a teacher. It was a huge, huge challenge, you know, because, because as a student, you just come in and you're focused on one thing. You're, you're focused on training. You're focused on sweating. You come into a school, uh, the school that you're attending, and with the mindset of something. You know, I want to get my front kick down today, or I want to make sure that I, I try to do the best so I can do the splits today. You know, something like that. But then as a teacher, it becomes, what am I going to teach these students? And, and my first lesson, I remember, I was supposed to teach a curriculum of our pumse, of our forms, and, uh, and a basic kicking technique, and then I just ended up just kicking the whole class. Every single class, you know, I put 110% in, and I'm sweating by the end of it, just along with these kids. You know, you don't just talk the talk, you gotta walk it. People put a lot of stock in role models and heroes. But when it boils down to it, it's you. Now, if you want to be like that hero, or you want to be like that, that role model, you're going to put that work in. You're going to change yourself, you're going to shape yourself, and you're going to push yourself to be the best you can be. And I would say that that's my biggest influence. Every day I put my, put my foot on the mats, the one thing that's going through my mind is I'm going to be the best that I can be today. I'm going to be better than I was yesterday.